I want to tell you how proud I am of you. Not because you have been the first undefeated Punahou football team in 52 years, or because you have been the top ranked football program in Hawaii all year, or even because of your current unprecedented national high school football ranking. I'm proud of you because of how you have carried yourselves, of how you have represented Punahou School with grace and with honor, of how you've raised the aspirations for the young men who will follow you, and of how you seniors have asserted yourselves with your quiet, confident, and steady leadership throughout the season. We honor each of you tonight. You are the champions. Congratulations on your historic accomplishment. I think every year we play football, there's a strong bond between us. But I think I realized that bond was a lot stronger this year because we were seniors. And so like, it really opened our eyes to this is really our last shot at doing it. It all started with the, the plane ride there where we, we just got more closer as a team. After that, we had practices, of course. We ate all our meals together. We go to different places. We talked to the Navy SEALs. That was very inspiring. We also got an opportunity to visit colleges, hopefully to help us decide where we want to go to college. We got to talk to Manti, and we realized that we came together as a team throughout the whole trip. It was a really good bonding experience for us. I feel like the seniors really stepped up as leaders, and we were kind of a group that they could, uh, the underclassmen could relate to. Because other years, the seniors were a little bit scary, but I feel like this year, we really got to know the underclassmen really well. We got to be good friends with them. We all felt like brothers the entire time that we were with each other. We had so much bonds and everyone became closer, like with seniors and sophomores, not just in their own cliques, everyone became together. And that's what made us different. All the players like agreed on uh, doing something as a team right after the meeting and so we all agreed on coming up to the field after the coaches were asleep and we would all sneak up on the field. We all got together by the goalpost and we, we just broke down as a team and we ran out on the field just yelling and screaming as loud as we could and I think that was the first time we ever did Quinn's Count Jumping Jacks on the field as a whole team and uh, I remember we had uh, so many laughs on the field and um, after that we just ran straight down uh, security guards caught us and uh, we were all super scared and I remember we were like, how much are we going to run, how much do you think we're going to run, how much, uh, how much do you think we're going to do and uh, I remember our teammates was just telling each other that it doesn't matter, we did it as a team so we're going to get penalized as a team. It was a close game from the very beginning. Kamehameha had a great team. And then before the touchdown, we had the punt. And then um, someone made a big hit on the returner. And then I actually recovered the fumble. And then the next play, um, two leaders threw it up to the perfect pass. Lying at a great time. And she went out, got the touchdown. And it's the most amazing feeling senior year. We really had to come together and um, just really just fight our hardest knowing that if we were to do that we'd come out victorious and that's what happened. I think the big thing was just staying together. That really helped us um, finish the game. You know, so we've been big on all season finishing. One of the most inspiring things was talking to the Navy SEALs um, on Coronado Island and Captain Duncan really talked to us about like perseverance and like never giving up no matter how hard things got. It was a message to our whole team. Uh, Kind of showing, showing everyone what we're capable of doing, and I thought it was a great battle for us because Kamehameha was a good team, and uh, we kind of just wanted to show what we can do, and we did. You know that whole motto of finish started at camp. You know we just worked really hard through this whole season. You know a lot of people didn't think we were going to take it all the way this year because we didn't have you know like what Manti's team did. You know at those star players, we just had more of a whole team. And we came together throughout the season and uh, we really worked hard and finished what we had to. I'd say it was really important to our senior class this year because we've gotten to the end multiple times but we haven't been able to finish. So 
The model kind of just like stuck with us all season because it's something that we haven't been able to do in the past, but this year we were finally able to. That helped us come together more because we realized that at, in the end, like win or lose, we're, all we have is each other. Looking back on it now, it's, it was just like the perfect way to end. After, after two years of just coming up short, that last season just going perfect was really special. I don't know how long it's been since the, that's happened, undefeated and a championship at Punahou, but that's going to be with us forever. I'm going to cherish all of those moments this season, um, and the championship was just a nice way to top everything off. And I'm just thankful for all my teammates, and I just had a great time with this team. I mean, it doesn't happen often, so I was really happy about that. And I was really happy that everyone with me got to enjoy it and um, I just want everyone to remember it and remember our team. Everybody felt like they were a part of the team, that they contributed, that because everybody was close together, you know. We had um, underclassmen like Wayne, like playing big roles and everybody like, I think it was different from past years when, um, I guess, just because everybody this year felt like they had a, um, they are important, you know. Definitely like hit more to me and share a, a lot of our team because it's just an amazing experience throughout the whole season. This is it! This is it! I'm gonna fuck with every one of you guys! You guys got my back, I got yours! Just how we roll! Alright? Let's go, let's go get that shit! Let's go! That fourth down play, that was the, that was like the loudest I've ever heard the stadium. I've ever, I just remember everyone pumping up the crowd, everyone getting rowdy during the last play. And as soon as Joe made that pick, it was just, I feel like that, that was the finisher. That was really the exclamation point on the perfect season. Falling two years before, you know, we weren't about to lose this one. And you know, this one was just for everybody who come before us and it is for us, for us I mean, once it happened, I was just, I can't even describe it. Being with them in that moment was speechless. I felt awesome, I felt great. I felt like I was on the top of the world and just finally a champion, that's all I can say. And we finished, we finished strong and we did it, 11 and all. I still can't believe it to this day, it only hits me now, like back then, uh, it's, there was just no words. So I didn't know what, what to do. It was the greatest feeling of my whole life. Like something that I've wanted personally for my whole life. And working hard all these years and finally, finally got it. It was definitely a great feeling. I'll never forget everybody on this team because everybody on this team was special to me. Y'all, everybody impacted me in some way. Come on, baby. We love you.